guys, welcome back to the Sim Pit. And if you're watching this video, you're here for one of two reasons. Is one, you've got nothing else better to do on your Thanksgiving break, or two, you want to get some other sims working on your triple screens without having to use NVIDIA Surround or AMD Affinity. So in this video, which is essentially part two of a previous video that I did, where I talked about Assetto Corsa, ACC, iRacing, in today's video, I'm going to be taking a look at American Truck Simulator, European Truck Simulator 2, WRC, and R Factor 2. So stay tuned. So, before we get into configuring how American Truck Simulator and all the other guys work, I want to point out in my previous video, I showed you how to resize your screens and your windows using SRWE or Simple Runtime Windows Editor. And I want to thank Dan Suzuki for coming out with the video pointing out there's a new software that's out there that's quite a bit easier to use called Resize Raccoon. And to get the Resize Raccoon, all you have to do is go into, go into a window, you know, type in Resize Raccoon, and you'll pop up with a GitHub site. That I'm going to have a link down in the description down below to get to. Or you're going to come up with this window. So what you'll do is you'll just click on one of the options and you'll download the, the file. And don't worry, it's a file is okay. It's where I've already scanned it for viruses. So yep, keep it. That's going to download it for you guys to use. So once we've downloaded Resize Raccoon and we've opened it up, next we're going to go into My Documents and then we're going to go into American Truck Simulator or European Truck Simulator, depending on which sim you're going to be working this on. Both, you know, both sims are going to use the same exact method for this. So the first thing we're going to do is once we're in our folder, American Truck Simulator or European Truck Simulator, we're going to go into our config.cfg file. And then we're going to open it with a notepad. So here we're going to be looking for a couple of different things that we're going to have to edit. So let's scroll down. The first thing we're going to look for is we're going to look for right here. I'm going to highlight it. You set R underscore multi-mode underscore mode. So right now it's set to zero, meaning it's set to a single screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that four, and that is going to enable having multiple monitors set up because with your being truck limit with the truck limiters, like some people use more than three screens. So this is going to allow us people to use all of the screens that they have. But for me, I'm going to set this up for triple screen support. So if you're going to be using any more monitors, you're probably better off looking at some of the American Truck Simulator or European Truck Simulator forums to see how you can enable like four or five monitors. Anyway, so this is the first one that we're going to edit. Then we're going to scroll down some more. And we're going to look for right here if I can. Yeah. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to adjust our width of our screens. So right here for you set R underscore mode underscore width. This is what we're going to change for the width of our triple screen. So for me, I'm using 1440p monitors that are 2560 by 1440p. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 2560 times it by three. I'm going to end up with 7680. And depending on what size monitors you have, this is what you're going to have your own value. So if it's 1080p, you know, it's 1920 times three. And I don't know what 4K is, but you, you get the picture. I'm going to do 7680. Now I'm going to scroll down a little bit more too. And I'm going to find, if I can find it. Uh, maybe I think I went down too far. So yeah, I'm um, sorry, it was right up, it was a little bit above it. So you set R underscore full screen. So that is set to one. We're going to change that to zero. Now we're going to save our file. Make sure, save it again. Uh, and then we're going to close everything out. And now we're going to go in and we're going to open up American Truck Simulator. All right, we're going to wait for it to launch. And here, so your monitors is going to be, might be a little funky right now, which is okay. Don't worry about it. As for me, like you can see how it's gotten smaller, but it's because I've enabled multiple monitor settings, but it's fine. It's going to get fixed here in a second. So you can already see full screen is already, you know, unchecked. We're going to disable vertical sync. 
and this is fine. This, you know, if something happens, don't worry about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to Alt Tab, and we're going to find our resize raccoon, and now we're going to create a new profile. So you're going to hit this plus button right here, and here the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select a processor. You're going to find the program that is running. So for us American Truck Simulator, we're going to select it. The really cool thing about Resize Raccoon is already has some presets in there for you. So it already has presets for 1080p monitors, 1440p, or triple 4K. So I'm running 1440p. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And depending on what your resolution is, like I know some people mismatch, you know, match different kinds of monitors. So whatever the max resolution you can get for all three monitors, like, you know, the height and the width, that's what you're going to use to make sure things don't get cut off. Uh, and then you will adjust your X position, you will adjust your Y position. So I'm going to remove the borders because I don't want the borders showing up. The really cool thing about Resize Raccoon is now it, like, whenever you have Resize Raccoon up and running, it will automatically resize the sim that you're, a sim of your choice that you're using it for. So you can do that by selecting the auto resize option, and you can also set a delay. So if you don't want it to resize right away, you can set a delay in milliseconds, and then like it, once that delay, you know, once that countdown is done, then it'll automatically resize it for you. I'm not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and hit save, and now we're going to hit this square right here, and that's going to push up our triple squares. All right. So now that we've done that. As you can see, you know, if you're probably seeing like on side of my screen, my side of my screen is gone. And now we've got American Truck Simulator working for the first time in triple screens. Now, once you've done this initial setup, this is what you're going to have to do in subsequent setups is like once you run American Truck Simulator and you have Resize Raccoon up and running, you'll have to go in your vertical sync, hit disabled, but don't really disable it. Hit escape and then it'll resize in a weird way, and then go into Resize Raccoon, press that little square, and then bam, it'll get everything resized the proper way for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out here. I'm gonna show you guys how everything is and how it looks. I know you probably won't be able to see a lot of things because, yeah, but you'll be able to see like on the side how everything is set up, slowed up. All right, so you can see my screens are right here are already working. And same thing on this side. Now, uh, I'm not really a big pro on American Truck Simulator or European Truck Simulator. Uh, you can go to the forums, like if you want to fix your graphics a lot more, if you want to adjust how your side monitors angles are, there's a lot more resources on those forums on how to really get you know, the, the angles and everything working on your stuff. For me, I just really dabble in it. I don't really, you know, I just play it in some of my free time. I don't really do too much in American Truck Simulator. I just want to show you how you can get triple screens working on ATS. And again, for European Truck Simulator, you're going to do the exact same process. But yeah, so that's American Truck Simulator. So now let's get into WRC. So now we're going to use the same thing, Resize Raccoon, to get it to work with WRC. WRC is very, very simple, so all you really got to do is launch the game. And then once it's launched, you can Alt-Tab and you can go to Runtime or Resize Raccoon. We'll create a new profile. We're going to select a process. We're going to find our WRC right here. Again, we're going to find our values. So depending on what resolution monitors you're using, you'll go ahead. For me, it's you know, 1440p. Select 1440p. Again, you could do the auto resize. So this time I'll do the auto resize and remove borders because you can use this for most simulations that are out there. But for some, some of them, it will do some weird funky things where it will show you the borders. So go ahead, remove the borders and hit save. And then we'll go ahead and press this square button right here to get it to go into triples. And right here, you can see already, like on the side monitor right here, where my wallpaper disappeared, saying that we are good to go with WRC. Now, the problem with WRC, because 
as it is right now, as of, was it, the 22nd of November 2023, it doesn't really truly have triple screen support. So what it's really going to do is that now that it's stretched out the monitors, it will, the side monitors will look a little stretched in WRC. Now you can kind of minimize that by going into options, adjusting your FOB, and a couple, you know, some other things. But you're still going to have that stretchiness like you've seen like in the Dirt Rally series and stuff like that because there's no really true triple screen support for WRC. That's just the way it is. If you don't want to run NVIDIAs around, it's going to look a little bit more stretched. But that's just a way to get it to work without having to use NVIDIAs around or AMD iFinity. So that's really it for WRC. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into R Factor. So for R Factor 2, it's going to be a little bit different. So for with R Factor 2, we're going to go into our R Factor 2 folder. So it's going to go into you know your program files, Steam, Steam apps, Common, R Factor 2, and then we're going to go into user data, and then we're going to look for our config underscore dx11.ini file. For this one, we're going to open it in a text editor or a notepad, and we're going to look for a couple things. So the first thing we're gonna look for is we're gonna go, we're gonna find windowed mode. So right here, so windowed mode, we're gonna set that to one. And then for borderless, we're gonna set that to zero. And then we're gonna find our custom vid res. So the first one is gonna be your width of your screens. So we're gonna just set depending on whatever monitors you have. So if you have 1440p, for me it's 25 by 60 for a single monitor, times that by three, I'm gonna end up with 7680. Using 1080p monitors, it's going to be 1920 times three. Whatever it was, so the value you get, you're going to put it in here. And then the same thing, you're going to leave whatever this is for. If you're 1080, you're going to put 1080. 1440, you're going to be 1440. So we'll go ahead and we're going to save this. So again, make sure you're using windowed mode equals zero, borderless. I mean, windowed mode equals one. Borderless equals zero, and then for custom vid res, it's gonna be you know what your resolution of your monitors are. From there, yep, again, we say make sure I saved it, close everything out, and then we're gonna go into Steam and we're gonna open up R Factor 2. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here, click this gear icon so we can go into our settings. Then we're gonna go into graphics. All right, so you know, right now we're in windowed, so our resolution, we're gonna change that until we find our actual resolution of the screens that we set up. All right, whoops, went a little far. So all right, so I've got 76 by 80. My refresh rate, you're not really gonna be able to change that. Vertical, vertical sync, you wanna make sure that's off. And then for multi-view, this is where you're gonna adjust your monitors. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that to on. We're gonna hit the plus screen. And here is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna set up the width of our monitor, like for, uh, for our monitors. All right, so yeah, so we'll change this. To, I'm sorry, before we get into it, so we'll do multi-viewed, we'll change that to individual. That way we can adjust each individual screen by itself. So right now we're on our center monitor. We're gonna do our width, you know, 540 millimeters. Eye distance, depending on how far we are from the screen. Uh, for me, I'm 560. That down. Uh, side angles, I've got my side angles at 56 degrees. And then bezel gap, depending on, you're going to measure your bezel gap for that. And then we're going to click to left, and we're going to do the same exact thing. And you can already see it like on this on the screen, you can see once we're adjusting the values, how things change. Uh, it lets you kind of give you like more of a graphical representation of what's really going on. So we're gonna go back, change this to right, change my eye distance. Again, these values are gonna be depending on how your triple screens are set up. So you wanna measure a lot of things like so you want to use a tape measure or something to measure how far your monitors are from your eyes, what angle of your side monitors are, your bezel gap, everything like that. And then once you're done, you can, cl you can close this out. You can adjust whatever other settings you want to adjust. You hit apply. 
I'm going to wait for a little bit. Yep, we want to confirm. And that's really it. So we've got everything configured. We'll jump into the sim and make sure, whoops, back. I don't want to close it, close it. Before we hit the back button, we'll do a quick single player session. Wait for everything to load. All right, we'll hit drive to make sure everything is good. And here we go. We can see that our triple screens are working. For me, because I already have my measurements already pre-measured, everything already looks good. I might have to change the FOV a little bit to get everything looking right. But as of right now, my monitors already look good with the angles they are. But again, like I'll have to go in and just, you know, go in just my FOV and things like that. Uh, but yeah, that's really it. How you set up triple screens without NVIDIA Surround or IMDi Affinity in R Factor Q. Yeah, so that's really it. So we, yeah, we went over American Truck Simulator. Same thing with, you know, you do the same exact thing for European Truck Simulator. But then for, we went over WRC and now R Factor 2. Again, if you watched my first video, if you're looking for iRacing, a set of Corsa, ACC, you know, that was done in a previous video. And I use, with that one, I use Simple Runtime Windows Editor, which is a good program. But now you have Resize Raccoon, which, does, which is, automates a lot of this stuff. So if you, want, if you don't want to mess around too much with a lot of different settings, Resize Raccoon works really, really well especially if you have your monitors are the same make, same size, same refresh rate and everything like that, I would use uh, Resize Raccoon. Now, if you're running different things, I'd probably go back to simple runtime editor. Uh, another note, I really tried to work on race room, how to get race room working without you know, NVIDIA Surround or AMD iFinity. I couldn't find anything that I was really comfortable with using. So with, if, you're, uh, if you don't want to use Surround and you do drive race room, you can look into DSR custom tools. And again, I'll have a link down below for you guys to do your own research. I wasn't comfortable doing it on my PC. Uh, I just, for my graphics card, how things were working, I just really couldn't get it configured properly. So it wasn't working right. But I'll have a link for Race Room and how you can do your DSR custom setup tools, everything like that. And that only works with NVIDIA, it doesn't work with AMD. But, anyways, guys, yeah. Uh, that's it for everything for how to set up your triple screens without surround for American Truck Simulator, ETS, Race Room, not Race Room, I'm sorry, R Factor 2, and WRC. If you like this video, please, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when we have more videos coming out. And until next time, have fun racing, guys. Later.